GC Cars. My name is Eric and today we got the 2021 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali. We've had two Silverados. We've had the High Country and the RST not too long ago. So I figured why not take a look at the Sierra Denali as well. Costs about the same as the High Country Silverado that we had. So I want to compare these two and it will be interesting because you can't buy this for very much longer because in a couple of months, early, early 2022, this will get entirely refreshed. New exterior, new interior. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. And I think a lot of good things are gonna happen, but I still want to take a look at it because some of you might be able to get some good deals at the dealership. And anyhow, what I want to do as always is go for a launch. So we're gonna put her into sport. We're already in two wheel drive. So we want to switch that over to four wheel drive, four high. There we go. And of course we can't forget to turn off the traction control because <laughs> that's, that's how we do this here. And let's go break we can't really break torque it because this guy's just too much power but we'll try anyway 30 40 50 60 70 80 <laughs> i love v8s ah oh, 6.2 liter naturally aspirated v8 made it to a 10 speed automatic uh, we've had this combination plenty of times and my god i love this drive train i love this drive train so much every time we have it I talk about how much I love this, and it's just so good. It is so good. Let me put the action control back on, two-wheel drive, and in regular driving mode. There we go. No, it's just, it's just like, let's just turn here, by the way. It's just so good. And also, this one actually makes a little more horsepower. Normally, we, normally, we, right? Normally makes 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. But we've got the performance upgrades, which include an air intake and the exhaust, that's why you hear this so loudly, it sounds so good. Uh, so we actually make a little more power. If I had to guess, I would say probably like 425, maybe 428. It's a tiny bit more power. Um, but no, it's just, it drives, it drives so, like it's so quick, 5.4 seconds to 100 according to car and drive, which is still kind of ridiculous if you think about how big like, these trucks have become. But no, I love it, I love it. Uh, of course, um, because I always forget that if you like the video so far, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because you don't want to miss any more videos. New videos coming every Friday at 11 a.m. And like I said, made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission. We can see how it reacts. We are in the regular drive mode, 50 kilometers an hour. We're just going to floor it and see what happens. God, sounds so good. No, like there's, there's not much to say. Uh, I, like I've talked about it plenty in the RST video. This is a fabulous drivetrain. I really like this. Uh, but why don't we take a look at the exterior, the interior, and then we go back to driving. Okay, Sierra Denali exterior impressions. And first of all, I think it looks really good. I think it's a good looking truck. Uh, I think it looks better than the Silverado actually. And it also beats out the F-150 in my opinion. But the Ram has it beat. Although we got to see how the 2022 update changes that, maybe. But overall, Onyx Black on the Chrome with the red GMC logo, it just looks great. I love the combination of the GMC logo every time. And this GMC has kind of taken out a bit of the weirdness out of the front end of the Silverado. It made it a bit more traditional looking, but very brawny, very nice. It looks expensive because it's, it is expensive, but it looks very nice. I like it, I very much like it. Of course, uh, it, it is still big, so like, I, sh I shrink in front of that. But we've got a 6.2 liter V8 badge, which always reminds you, hey, you got a pretty badass engine in here, which is, which is nice. Of course, 22 inch wheels, I talk about that every time on these big trucks. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous because they're huge, but it just works. I'm not criticizing it, I think it looks great. And you still have plenty of sidewall, so it's not uncomfortable. It's just, if you think about it, 22 inch wheels are actually pretty big. Uh, no, but what it retains out of the Silverado from the Silverado is the side profile, right? I really like the side profile of the Silverado with the bed to cabin to engine proportions. They just look right. And this carries over here to the Sierra Denali. And of course, we have this chrome strip around here, which happens to be side steps, which move out. Very nice, very fast. And of course, we got our Denali badge down here. No, it's, it's very, very good looking. I like it. We're going to take a look at the rear of this Denali, but for that, I'm going to swing it over, swing it over, switch it over to my colleague. Hello. Today, we are going to take a look at the rear 
and more specifically the tailgate of the 2021 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali. Let's get started. Now, specifically, I wanted to take a look at the tailgate because this is the so-called Multipro tailgate. This is the tailgate that started the tailgate wars between Ford, Ram, Chevy and GMC. Now, first of all, let me store this function number one. It opens like a normal tailgate. Now, almost at capacity. Excuse that little joke. Let's put it back up for function number two. We can open the top half. Wonderful. Function number three. Put this little flap up. If you have items that are just a little too long for the bed, you can now store it. For example, skis. Wonderful. But now, observe. We can start combining these functions by pressing the button again. We have function number four and function number five. Now, this way we can either have easy access into the bed or we can just sit down and read our favorite science book. We even have cup holders in case you have any beverages with you. Now, what this also reveals is the so-called kicker audio system. This is a USB speaker that you can connect with USB, an aux cable or a USB cable so you can have a proper tailgate party here in the back. A really fancy tailgate I must say. But let's put it all back up. I forgot my paper. Let's continue with the video. Okay, easy to get in thanks to the handle up here. And it's exactly the same interior as in the <laughs> Silverado. Of course, we have a few badges, exchange of Denali. The graphics are a little different here and there, uh, but overall it's exactly the same interior, which we've looked at in the RSTN as well in the high country, which it means it is nice, it's comfy. The materials are decent to okay. Uh, the, all the touch spots are nice and soft leather, but it is just behind the F-150 and the Ram. But like I said, update is coming early next year, so this won't be an issue for long. Now, uh, just a very few GMC specific things and those kind of features I like in this cabin that I want to talk about. First of all, this, um, this is the dark walnut color, which um, looks pretty decent. Just I wish the plastics wouldn't be this dark brownish because it kind of looks like faded black plastic. Then. So I wish they would have left the plastics black and just the leather is brown. But hey, it's just an opinion thing. It's, it's a zero dollar offer, so I'm not going to complain about it. Um, you can have it in black if you want it. This trim actually has a bit of texture this time around, this fake wood trim. So it looks a little better and it feels a little better. So this, that's a tiny difference, but it actually makes it a lot nicer because the one in the silver other I really don't like. I did not really, I really didn't like, but this one, it's a lot better. I mean, it's still faux wood, but anyway. Uh, of course, we get the digital review mirror, which is fast becoming probably one of my favorite features in cars. Like, full stop. It's just so nice. You see so much more. It is so usable. I love it. We can we can change between just our cushion or the seat, like the full seat uh, being heated. And we also have cooled seats, which are super strong. In general, like in these trucks, the heated steering wheel, heated seats and cooled seats are very, very good. Act very fast. Sometimes you get into like cars with cooled seats that aren't really that cool at all. And uh, yeah, of course, really the, everything else we've been covering in the Silverado videos, I can just suggest you watching those. We have the Silverado RST where we took the most in-depth dive at this interior up here. And we also afterwards took a look at the Silverado High Country, which is the most comparable to this because it's the top trim Silverado, just like the Denali is the top trim. The Sierra 1500, so click up there to find that one. And other than that, of course, the infotainment, not the most features, but it's super fast, super easy to use. I still like it. Wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay we have in this one. We have a huge um, like center console as always in these trucks. Like you can see. It's pretty big. And uh, yeah, no, like it's not the nicest cabin in comparison to the Ram and the F-150, but it still is nice. You will still be very comfortable. Um, it's, not, it's not a problem or anything. It's just a little bit behind in terms of tech, but there's still a back seat, so uh, let's take a look at that. Oh, 
Okay, obviously getting in uh, just like in the front, it's very nice with the steps here, the electronic steps on the side that we can just get in and out of. Makes it so much easier to get in. And it's really just like a little st stair, like a few stairs, uh, like a staircase, getting in and out, super easy. And there's just an abundance of room here. It's so spacious. Like you even have a cutout up top. So people that are like 15 feet tall could still fit in here technically. Well, not that big. You get what I'm saying. Uh, like personally, me at five foot seven, I'm just, I'm just so comfy back here because I can just stretch out whatever I want. Of course, leather seats. These are super comfortable. We got a bit more leather here. Rest of is mostly plastic, but that's fine. It's functional. Uh, we have heated seats even in the back here, and we have good connectivity with a USB-C, regular USB, and a cigarette lighter. Of course, we also have two more cup holders here plus two more cup holders here so you have like four cup holders in total for the back row and even honestly if you're the fifth passenger you have such a wide seat that wouldn't be much of an issue i don't know if you can even still see me let's get back here but no this is this is uh this is not an issue whatsoever this is actually really nice and riding in the back of a truck is probably the most comfortable it gets <laughs> unless you like really step up very high in the luxury uh, market in the, the car segment but this is this is really nice but of course we still have some some more storage some goodies first of all we can open the seat have some storage in here where we can place some hidden items and we can flip up the seat if you need more storage we have some down there it's not too big but storage is storage so why not and uh yeah there's just like plenty of room plenty of room but that's why i buy a truck to have plenty of room i would say we go back to driving and back we are perfect time because the road is a little rough here so we can talk about right quality um it's a truck they handle they handle really good and especially these uh these top trim well specked out uh, silverados and the uh sierras that i've driven they're just they're so comfortable it is like it floats pretty much over everything of course yeah you feel shocks here and there uh, but it's just it's very pleasant you kind of just like whatever the road throws at you these are really really uneven badly paved damaged roads and it's still you know it's like yeah i feel a little, little bit of shaking here and there but it's just comfortable and that's just what these big trucks are about it's just being comfy all the time you get the big space you get the uh, big engine you get the uh you get the right quality it's just very very nice and of course it's not too loud like this exhaust is actually pretty <laughs> <laughs> like the first time I was on the highway with it, it's like cruising at about 100 kilometers an hour, so roughly 60 miles an hour. I was like, oh, there, there, there's a lot of noise coming from the back because you just constantly hear the exhaust. It's not like annoyingly loud, but it's just noticeably different than when compared to not having that exhaust. Let's turn right here though. Oh, and if you're not towing with them, you can tow up to 8,200 pounds in this one, which is not as much as I expected. I'll be honest, the Silverado could tow a little more, but that was a bit of a different configuration. Um, if you're not towing with it, if you're not just cruising, you can you can just tune around it. Like these trucks can really kind of do it all. Of course, you're not sporty, but it's just like plenty of fun to be had still. Um, but yeah, like there's not too much to talk about. Like I said, I reviewed the Silverado. RST and the high country, they're very, very, very similar. Especially the high country, the, the price was pretty much the same then as uh, compared to this Denali. With the refresh, there will be more differences. At least the interior will look different in the Sierra compared to the Silverado. And maybe there will be some other minor differences here and there. So it makes it maybe a bit easier to compare them. This one, really the, the differences are just very, very minor. But it's okay because it's very good. Of course, we also have some driving tech. We have an adaptive, we have adaptive cruise control. We have safety systems, our cameras. We have this array of cameras that we've also had in the Silverados, which is just amazing. I think we have, can I, can I remind, can I remember all of them on the top of my head? That's kind of difficult. Um, so we have, of course, front and rear bumper. We have tailgate camera, uh, a bed camera, I mean. We have front wheels, rear wheels, 360 degree. What do we have? Uh, we have this rearward looking 360 kind of ish weird one, seven. I think we might have more. 
Anyhow, they're super clear, really easy to use. Like the touchscreen is fast. You can cycle through them easily, not too many menus. It's very, very, very usable. And like I said, combined with the driving tech you got in here, really there's not, there's not much to complain about. And I think we should already stop with that. Because most of this, most, most of the things I would have said, or most of the things I said about the high country also apply here. Uh, I feel like the suspension here, I like it more than in the high country, but it's been a couple of months, so I can't entirely say if it's different or it's just me coming out of like being in a different situation, having different, you know, it always depends on the car you drive beforehand, kind of influences how you feel. But this, looking back, feels better than the high country suspension. Anyhow, let's send it off to the final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts on the 2021 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali. There's a lot to like here. First of all, I think it looks great. And the drivetrain is lovely. The 6.2 liter V8 combined with the 10-speed automatic, which shifts very smoothly, very quickly, and knows which gear to pick every time. It's just a joy to drive. Combined with the, uh, <laughs> with the exhaust and the air intake we have, it just gets even better. I really enjoy driving it and these modern trucks despite their size are just effortless to drive. They're so comfy and you always feel in control of what, what you're doing. They're quiet, the seats are comfortable. It's very very good. I love and enjoy driving these trucks despite me absolutely having no use of them for them right now. <laughs> but I still love driving them. It's just fun. And um, yeah, this, but as much as I like it, $85,000 Canadian for this Sierra is a tough sell just because if you look at the Ram 1500 and the F-150 for the same amount of money they just offer a little bit of a better interior and a little more tech which is understandable right now this is just just a few short months away from a refresh and when that hits I'm sure the game will change and we're gonna look at the new Sierra and the new Silverado and we're gonna see that they might be actually the best truck in the business again but right now if you want to buy one I would say just wait a little longer for $85,000 it's not quite worth it either you wait a few months and for probably a couple grand more you get the new 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali then or you wait a little longer until the new ones come in and then I'm sure some discount uh, some dealerships despite the chip shortage will give you a good discount on the current 2021 models in terms of Sierra versus, versus the Silverado we've had the Silverado high country this is you know, they're, they're the same essentially right mostly they're the same so really just comes down to very few preferences that you have which is mainly in terms of styling i like the gmc's look a little better so i would go with the sierra over the silverado but that's very personal they cost pretty much the same and they're pretty much the same truck but yeah that concludes this video i hope you liked it if you liked it make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos we actually upload new reviews every friday at 11 a.m eastern time so there's plenty of content coming and we got some cool cars coming in the next few weeks and we also have pov drives highway pov city pov net pov drives, so you can actually see and hear how it is to drive this truck out of the driver's perspective my perspective in that case and you can see all the different features that we test we test handling we test high beams we test automatic uh, high beams adaptive cruise control all that and we also obviously have that for this year anyhow thank you so so much for watching i'll see you in the next one thank you and goodbye